Watford 2-1 Crystal Palace, Roberto Pereira, Jose Holba seal third straight win. Watford survived a late scare to seal a 2-1 victory over Crystal Palace and win three games at the start of a top-flight season for the first time. Wilfried Zaha struck 12 minutes from time at Vicarage Road to raise hopes of a visiting fight back but the hosts held on as Roberto Pereira's 53-rd minute strike and Jose Holbus's freak second, 71, proved enough. Palace had been denied by several fine Ben Foster saves in the first half and saw Joel Ward head agonizingly wide deep into stoppage time on a frustrating afternoon where Roy Hodgson may again point the finger at the officials. Watford, Foster, 8, Janmat, 7, Cathcart, 6, Cobbesil, 7, Holbus, 7, Caput, 7, Ducour, 6, Hughes, 6, Pereira, 8, Dini, 7, Gray, 6. Subs used, Sema, 6. Success, N A. Crystal Palace, Hennessy, 6. Ward, 7. Kelly, 6. Sacco, 6. Van Anhalt, 6. Townsend, 7. Milivojevic, 6. MacArthur, 6. Schliep, 6. Bank, 6. Zaha, 7. Subs used, Meyer, 6. Sorloth, N A. Men of the match, Roberto Pereira Watford had started brightly on the slick surface, Pereira whipping in a ball that just evaded Andre Gray at the far post, but the game quickly became fractious as the rain fell. Zaha, memorably mocked by Watford's mascot back in December 2016, drew the ire of the home crowd for a tackle on Holbus but had been dangerously halted himself minutes earlier by Etienne Capu's studs. The car dubiously yellow rather than red. Watford were unchanged from their 3 1 win at Burnley last weekend. Joe Ward replaced the suspended Aaron Wan Bissaka in Crystal Palace's starting 11, but there was a further late change when James Tompkins suffered a calf injury in the warm up, Martin Kelly stepping in. With the game's tempo brisk, Andros Townsend set up Christian Bent for a header superbly clawed away by Foster and the Watford goalkeeper made another close-range stop to thwart James MacArthur with only 16 minutes gone. Palace had crafted the best chances but Watford slowly found a foothold, the impressive Pereira twice going close and Daryl Janmat, a consistent attacking threat, striking a grey layoff on the run just wide as the interval approached. The host's momentum stretched into the second half and Pereira finally made it count, cutting inside Townsend and finding the far corner after Capu had found him following a muscular dart downfield. Bent had wasted one headed chance before Foster pushed the other clear but the Belgian went close with a far more ambitious effort, cushioning a ball with back to goal before curling just high and wide. Palace's hopes instead seemed extinguished when Holba stripped inside and delivered a deep cross that caught out Hennessy and dropped into the far corner. Hodgson, who had been angered by decisions against Liverpool, threw on Max Meyer and it was his give-and-go that paid dividends, Zaha collecting the return ball before jinking inside and drilling low from an angle. Substitute Alexander Sorloth failed to connect with a late Palace corner before a ward fluffed his lines from another as Javi Grotch's side held on for victory and Harry the Hornet thumped his drum in celebration. Roberto Pereira had seen one half volley deflected behind and fired another good chance straight at Wayne Hennessy before finally making the breakthrough with a superbly taken goal. Especially influential in the first half, he had four shots on target overall, the most of any Hornets player, as well as delivering three crosses and a key pass. Roberto Pereira's last nine home maps for at Watford FC, pick.twitter.com slash 0sqrr19 as Watford travel to Reading for a second round Carabao Cup clash on Wednesday, before welcoming Tottenham to Vicarage Road on Super Sunday. Palace start their League Cup campaign at Swansea on Tuesday and then tackle Southampton at Sellerst Park on Saturday. Pick your team for Man United v Tottenham to win the guaranteed £1,000 jackpot. Thank <laughs> you.